earlier we obtained this equation P equals K times 1 over V squared we are asked to form an equation using PV and K where the quantity P varies inversely 1 divided by inversely as the square of V alright now part 2 of this question says given that V is 3 when P is 4 determine the positive values of value of V when P is 1 let's see what's happening here here P is 4 so we have 4 equals K multiplied by 1 over and they say V is 3 so it's 3 squared so the important thing here is to find out what is K then when we know what K is we could put P as 1 we know K and we'd have only one unknown which is V so we would find V alright and they say determine the positive value of V so let's go ahead 4 equals K times 1 over 9 is the same as 4 over 1 is equal to K divided by 9 alright I had placed 4 over 1 because I'll, since I have fraction on the right I want fraction on the left so fraction equal fraction the K multiplied by 1 <coughs> remember the K mu doesn't multiply the 9 here only the 1 it multiplies because this could be written as K over 1 and top times top over bottom by bottom K times 1 up top over 1 times 9 down the bottom so this is what we have here then since we have 4 divided by 1 is equal to K divided by 9 I want K alone equal so I will need to get rid of the 9 so I multiply by 9 9 cancel 9 so on the right I have K equals what happened on the left I multiply by 9 on the right so I must multiply by 9 on the left 9 4 is 36 so K is 36 alright so now we know that K is 36 let me write it up here K equals 36 let me just erase this to make some space now determine the positive value of V when P is 1 so again we have P equals K times 1 over V squared now when P is 1 so what we have is 1 let me draw a line and separate these P is 1 what we have is 1 equal K we know K is 36 multiplied by 1 over V squared this is same as 1 is equal to 36 over V squared let me make some space erase this and you continue using this space alright so we have 1 equals 36 over V squared now this is the same as 1 over 1 so I have fraction on both sides you could use a the technique they cr call cross multiply but it's the same thing as multiplying both sides by V squared so if you multiply by V squared you multiply by V squared V squared cancel itself on the right hand side you have 36 alone but what happened on the left you multiply by V squared as well so V squared is equal to 36 
what squared equal 36? What, which number do you square? And you get 36. It is 6. In other words, if you want V, when you have V squared, just square root V squared and you have V. But if you square root the left, you must square root the right. Square root 36. And when you square root 36, you have 6. So V is 6. Now, if we back up here, it says determine the positive value. Why does it um, specifically mention the positive value? It's because you have two roots of 36. The square root of 36 multiplies itself to give 36. It works with 6 and it also works with negative 6. But they want the positive. So we use 6, positive 6. I could have written plus or minus the square root of 36 here. Right? Because there are two of them. But we're interested in the positive 6. So V is equal to 6. Right? So... That's it for question 4A2.